Hey, ladies. All right. So I am back. We are back with another, you know, common new mom questions. Um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I haven't officially named the segment, like, common new mom questions. You know, if you have a good, like, a great name for it, then definitely go ahead and, like, drop that in the comments or something. Make a whole playlist out of it. Um, but yeah, so, uh, another common question, right, is, uh, you know, do I need to sterilize the bottles and pacifiers uh, after every use? Um, the, I don't want to say obvious, but uh, a good answer um, is yes, right? Uh, that's obviously, you know, to, to cut down on the germs and, and cold and bacteria and stuff your kids has a chance to receive or receive, yes. Um, however, you know, we, we don't really live in this, this perfect world where that um, always actually happens. Uh, you know, especially, you know, drop your kid off at daycare. I mean, you hope that they are, and I'm pretty sure that they are. Uh, but you, you know, you really just uh, never, never know. I think about, you know, when I was growing up, if a, if a kid in your neighborhood and your daycare, you know, caught chicken pox, right? Like, um, your mom, right, would go make you play with them so that you could catch chicken pox and you could go ahead and, and get it out of the way, right? Like, um, I feel like when I was growing up, rather, I perspective, um, you know, germs and, and things like that, they weren't as big of a deal or maybe they were and you know my um my parents were just different about them you know but uh and you know i don't remember having you know um uh, like the hand sanitizer and uh and and the sanitary wipes you know like everywhere the child but i i <laughs> and again you know maybe that's just the uh new moms or whatnot becoming aware or maybe the viruses and bacteria is, is worse today than it, it was back then um you know who can say um but yeah just you know like think back to to what it was like growing up um you know or when you were a child right did um you know did your mom literally wipe down every surface uh before you touched it i mean i know my mom didn't right so you know maybe it's just again a different parenting style anyway so i digress i could talk about you know <laughs> uh me being a child or me you know anytime all the time all right um so do i need to sterilize bottles and pacifiers um after every use so this is our search for today and we're gonna see what uh what google what google says right um Oh, that's interesting. How often for extra germ removal, sanitize feeding items at least once a day. Sanitizing is particularly important when your baby is younger than three months, um, was born prematurely, or has a weakened immune system. All right, and that's uh, that's from the CDC. We uh, always talk about uh, trusted sources. Uh, so. Uh, Hopefully the CDC is considered trusted, right, among the sources. Um, and sterilized pacifiers, yeah. Well, you know, because we always had um, like a, a whole bottle sterilization system, um, you know, that we just, uh, you know, put the bottles in so the hot water, the steam, but we always had to wash them first, right? So we you had to wash the bottles. And then you put them in the sterilization. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's see, Munchkin. So they're a popular um, kids brand uh, in terms of like toys and stuff. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they make pacifiers. So uh, always check the date, right? So if you found something that was like 2015, 
I would preferably look for something that was a little newer in information, just in case things have changed, right? You know, again, we talked about growing up differences, you know, the pacifiers that, you know, I had growing up were a little different, um, you know, than the pacifiers that are out now. And so I definitely would want to make sure and double check that the article was at least somewhat um, recent. Uh... Okay, uh, do you need to sterilize pacifiers, bottles, and bottle nipples? Um, you'll want to sterilize them first before first use and regularly afterwards. Um, but it's not necessarily to st um, sterilize them after every use. That's interesting. All right, let's see. Once daily, you can uh, clean them simply by running them through a regular cycle in the dishwasher. Please check the package to make sure your items are dishwasher safe or washing them in warm soapy water. Dishwasher, put plastic bottles in the top rack, renting from melting. Okay. Washing my hair, air dry. We're putting them away. Yeah, so how do you feel about that? Like, let me know in the comments. Like, do you put your um, uh, your bottles in the dishwasher? Like, I know, again, they say they may say dishwasher safe, uh, but never put them in the dishwasher. Like I said, we always had this separate um, sanitizing um, system specifically for um, bottles and uh, bottle nipples and, and pacifiers. You just kind of put them all in there after we, we wash them with, um, you know, soap and water. Uh, but seven daily cleaning, sterilize regularly. Wow, they said weekly, every other week. But we recommend sterilizing them once a month. So, you know, just according to this article, you know, they're saying dishwasher or you can just wash them with soap and water and then sounds like sanitize them. What? On a schedule you can maintain and that you're comfortable with, whether it's weekly or every uh, other week or monthly. Wow, but they're saying you need to sanitize it at least once a month. It's very interesting. Again, just differences, differences. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, pacifiers, bottles, nipples. Uh, okay, yeah, after your child's been sick. Okay, that, that makes sense. Oh, wow. They've got like a little mini sanitizer. Okay. All right. What else do we got? What else we got? Uh, there goes Parents. That's a pretty uh, popular magazine. So let's see what's going on down there. And we'll hit up the CDC again. See what they're talking about. And very well, family. I think they're also a very, uh, very, <laughs> reading the word right. Um, I also think that they are a, um, like a very popular blog or, or, or magazine, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yep, they're saying the same things. Uh, you don't need to sterilize it after every use. Uh, but you want to give it a deep clean every few weeks. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Many parents obsess over uh, about cleaning their baby items. Yeah, um, I, I I know some parents like that. We'll leave them out of the conversation. But I feel like we all know some parents like that. And 
kind of makes me think of the whole, um, you know, question are our kids immune systems weaker today, right? Because there are a lot of moms who obsess about, um, you know, keeping their baby's environment clean or their kids environment clean versus again, you know, when we were kids, you know, 30, 40, you know, maybe you're 50, whatever your, your age range is, you know, um, I feel like, again, our parents didn't care as much. So would you argue that our immune system was stronger uh, back then, you know, versus kids today? You know, let me know in the comments below. We just get a little discussion going on. But yeah, all very interesting. All right, this one's saying how often parents should clean their baby bottles immediately after every feeding to prevent a buildup of germs and bacteria. All right, we got the soapy water, bottle brush. Ooh, I loved my bottle brush. Very helpful. Ah, check this part out. All right, many pediatricians feel um, that dishwashing, especially those with hot sanitizing rinse, will do a thorough job of getting bottles and nipples clean. See, there's another vote for the dishwasher. Um, so if you have a dishwasher, good for you. I was always the dishwasher. My sister and I were always the dishwashers. Um, and even when we had a dishwasher, my sister and I were the dishwashers. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, be sure to place the bottles on top of the rack. Yeah, yeah, so they don't melt. We read that part from the last guide. All right, see, so they're pulling from the CDC too. I'd call that a trusted source. Um, older, healthier babies don't benefit from daily sterilization. Interesting. Today's drinking water is clean and safe. Mmm. Right? Like, mmm. That uh, makes me think of, uh, is it really though? I mean, you know, how many times have we had the whole, you know, like fluoride in the water conversation? Or, you know, we find that, you know, pipes have burst. Or, you know, like there's rust in somebody's pipe. You know, just the whole Flint, Michigan issue that happened, what, I don't know, five, six years ago, maybe? I don't even know, was it that long? Anyway, uh, but yeah, so I personally use a filter. Um, I I would recommend anybody and everybody use a filter, you know, for their water. Uh, you know, especially when it comes to um, uh, the baby's food right um yeah Oof. uh and then I, I do i feel like the day or like when the filter like expires something like like you can taste the difference between like the filtered water and the unfiltered water just my two cents you know maybe you're fine maybe wherever you are in the world uh your drinking water is Perfect fine. I'm in the U.S., so it's not like you can't drink the tap water. Um, just maybe feel like the filtered water tastes a little bit better. I don't know. Okay, uh, three methods for sterilizing your bottles. Uh, sterilize with boiling water. This is the safest and easiest method. Uh, disassemble your bottle. Uh, fill the pot with hot water and cover. Make sure there aren't any air bubbles in the bottle. Bring the water to a boil, let it boil for five minutes, let the water cool and carefully remove the bottle parts. Um, place the clean, uh, place that in the clean drying mat. Okay, yep. Sterilization with microwave. Yeah, no, I, I uh, ah. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, I don't know how I feel about sterilizing with microwave, but 
Okay, it says if you purchase a microwave sterilizer, follow the instructions. Oh, okay, so it's not like you're pulling water, right, in the microwave <coughs> and boiling it. It seems like there's actually a a specific uh, like bottle sterilizer thing for um, for microwaves. All right, and then sterilize with bleach. Ugh. Um, definitely not a fan of chemicals and bottles. All right. Um, as a last ditch effort. Okay. Well, I guess that makes more sense. Don't have access to a microwave or a stove. You can turn to bleach, according to the CDC. Two tablespoons of unscented bleach and sixteen cups of water. Completely submerge your baby bottle parts. Making sure the solution gets to the nipple hole um, and there aren't any air bubbles. Let them sit for two minutes. Remove the bottle parts. Don't rinse them afterwards or you'll risk reintroducing germs. Leftover bleach will disintegrate or, yeah, as the items dry. All right, well, there you have it. Um, three methods of sterilization. Um, you know, as well as uh, some ideas, just kind of uh, as the basics of how often bottles should be clean in terms of, um, you know, at a minimum, they're saying it should be sterilized once a month. But obviously, you know, you want to clean the baby's um, bottles and things uh, after every use. You know, in the CDC, we, we talked about how... Um, you can do it once a week, once every other week, but it, you know, like I said, bare minimum was a month. And uh, you know, feel free to do your own research. You know, I I definitely recommend that you do your own research, and I purposely you know show you you know put the questions in here and and show you you know um, some of the answers and things that I'm finding, just so that you know I'm not some person on on the internet just you know giving my own personal opinions but you're actually seeing the search you're actually seeing um you know what google is showing what the parents.com is showing what the cdc is telling you uh and i try and give it to you in a very easy um format but like i said feel free to always 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 do your own research all right um i will check you guys out later feel free um, again, um, like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, you know, let me know if you have any other questions. All right, later.